Hey everyone, I'm back with some more happy mail. Um, so I got a card in the mail today from um, Anne. She's actually here in North Carolina, so um, this is a cute little Halloween card. Thank you, Anne. She did a great job on all the coloring, too. So really, really cute with all the little kitties dressed up for Halloween. So you're cute. Thank you for the card. I'm going to put that up on my... I'm actually ready to switch my board over to fall and Christmas. Um, because the stuff is piling up now. I need to switch it over. Okay. This package is from Anna. And Anna, I thought you were just sending a card. So that's not what this is. I did not peek. I'm going to pull everything out of it. I don't want to show our addresses or anything. So... What did you send me in this package? I think I got everything. Um, and it's raining here today. So, is this the card? This is probably the card. Oh, look how cute. Very cute. Whoops, we got a little, little um, casualty with the um, clothespin. I've got, I've got these in my stash too, these little tiny ones. That's actually what I'm using to put on my ins inspiration board. But um, the little tag is just cute with this little gingerbread guy here. And she used some um, book paper. Um, so it's in a glassine bag. Let's see what she sent along. Put those on top of my pens. Ooh, pretty. I think I remember you creating this too. Um, she did a video on this one. Really pretty. Very, very glittery too. Beautiful, beautiful. I think she does this with her markers. Um, but I could be wrong. And I know she used a die here to get that impression. Let's see. Ah, oh, happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Anna. I'm definitely going to put these up, this, this card up on the board. So it'll come up with all the fall stuff and let's see what she sent to me here this was in the card guys so that is why I'm opening first this is oh my gosh it's a oh it uh I don't know if you guys can see what this is but it is it's a little cookie it's a tray with gingerbread cookies sitting on it oh this is so cute and there's, oh, is this a Darcy stamp? Because there's two little bears. Um, two little bears behind the cookie sheet. I have seen this image before um, on Pinterest. Um, and this is one of my <laughs> stamps that I've been looking for. Some of these are hard to find. Especially these gingerbread ones that are um, from Darcy's. So, oh, that is so cute. Thank you, Anna. And I'm guessing the, whoever had it... Um, didn't have it mounted anymore um, and I definitely I can mount this um, on a block and or put some cling behind it you don't really need the cling mount because it is a red rubber stamp so it's gonna stamp just fine um, once it's attached to a block but uh, it is really cute I will stamp this out hopefully you guys will be able to see what that is um, I'm gonna start with these because they're not wrapped but they, oh, super cute. Look at that gingerbread house. This is from Dress It Up. And there's some peppermint candies and then little gumdrops. That's too cute. Oh, I love that. And I, and I like how they even frosted the top of the house. There's glitter in that. That's cute. I don't have these. And then she sent this one, which has the... Um, rolling pin. There's like a little flour, sugar container, and jelly container. Oh, cute. And then there's some, um, there's like the word cookies. There's a cutting board, like a little board. It's got something on it. And then there's some gingerbread guys in there too, I think. The bigger ones. See right here, there's a gingerbread right there. And it's a bigger button. Well, I want to say it's a button, but there's no hole in it. So it's more like an embellishment that you can use. These are cute. I'm going to look for these too. 
Um, I have some, but they're not like this. Cute. Thank you. Um, there's the word cookies and there's the word baking in there. That's perfect. I really need to get cr to creating. <laughs> Less shopping, more creating. <laughs> um, so let me look first at the chicken stamped bag here. This is cute. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. It looks like it's some fiber. Oh, 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 oh. I think she showed this. Look at this. So there's this, which is like a, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like a, I guess it's yarn. Sometimes I, I want to say doll hair, but um, you can use almost anything for doll hair, but yeah, this is really, it's really nice texture, really bumpy. So there's some of this, but there's also, she shared with me some of this too. And this is a darker color, like it has black in it. So it's a deeper color of brown mixed in. It's like brown and black together in this. And that, that's very interesting. I like the texture, but again, I think of doll hair. When I see it, I don't know. That's just me, maybe. Uh, and then she sent me some rickrack. And this is different from the one I have in that it's like um, very, it's thick. The rickrack that I, uh, I had purchased before isn't like this. It's different. Interesting. So it's like a, um, it can hold up a little bit better, I think. When I say hold up, I mean it's stiffer. Um, but that's really fun. Thank you. I'm definitely going to use those on projects, obviously. Let's see what else she sent to me. Because she's got it all wrapped up. Oops. Fun. Birthday package. <laughs> oh, these are stamps. Put the tissue over there. Oh, look at those. Okay, she's got. Oh, wow, they're so cute. You see, guys, two um, gingerbreads in a house, and this is from Sunlight Creation, Sunlight Crafts. I have some stamps from them, and when I got them, and um, she and I were talking about this, like. The Velcro, they have this Velcro system. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that, but they're on Velcro and you can probably easily take it off, which is what I did with the stamp that I got that had Velcro on it and just leave it, you know, with a cling. It looks like there's cling in the middle sandwiched in there, um, that gray stuff. So that looks so fun. Oh, I love these. They're so cute. Thank you. And then these little guys. <laughs> Oh, those are so fun too. I like the, the cookies, especially the Santa. <laughs> I've seen the Santa before as a um, separate, you know, stamp, but when he's mixed in like this, I just think he looks um, really cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it makes me laugh because he looks so, like though just his expression with his mouth open like that. He's, he's really cute. All right, let's open this one. Oh my gosh, what is this? This looks like a wood stamp, or feels like a wood stamp to me. And it is, oh my gosh. It's it's a bunny as a gingerbread. See the bunnies in Lederhosen? <laughs> that makes me chuckle. I love that. That's just like, that's not lost on me that it's, He's masquerading as a um, gingerbread. That is too cute. I love it. Uh, one of these days, I I need to find one. My my husband used to have to dress up in the lederhosen because his mother um, would ha have him and his brothers do that for the international festival that they had at the university. And so, and you know, or his father was a professor there, so um, they have many pictures of them in their lederhosen, but I have to find them because they're probably on slides. That's the thing. And uh, a couple Christmases back, um, his older brother 
had all their slides um, converted to a disc. So I just have to find it on the disc. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These, I've been looking for these. Um, Anna, wow. Thank you. Um, these are gingerbread stamps, um, but you see they're the cube stamps from Stamp Passions. And they are Diana Markham stamps. There's, there's actually, I don't know if you can read it. Let me bring it real close. But can you read that? I don't know. Right here across the bottom is where it says Diana Markham. Um, and I don't even know if I can read that. 1999? I don't know. Dude. My eyesight is not so good. Not when it's that small and it's kind of blurry. 1998, I think. I don't know. But this is two of her gingerbread stamps. And some of these are done in like a larger size too. Like here is the um, bowl of gingerbread. I don't know if you can see that. I'll stamp them out. Um, this is a little garland of gingerbread. This is a house, a uh, gingerbread house. And then there's a gingerbread right here. And then this one is a basket of gingers. And there's another gingerbread. It looks like it has a hanger. Um, there's a heart. So that would be like a gingerbread cookie heart. And then there's another gingerbread on this side. It looks like maybe that's a boy because he's got a vest. And then the other one is just a regular gingerbread. It doesn't have any clothes. It just has buttons. Oh, thank you. Oh, yay. These are very hard to find, by the way. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So this last one does feel like another um, woodblock stamp because I can feel it through the tissue paper. And let's see what this is. Pink tissue. I did notice that. He's got me with the, oh, what is this? There's two together. Oh, yes. I saw her show this. I didn't have this one either. Um, really cute. It says strawberries across the bottom here. It's a bowl of strawberries. And the other one is a bowl of peaches in like a, a bowl made from leaves. This is super cute. Um, Lockhart Stamp Company, um, Redmond, Washington. So, over in that area. These are from 2007. Really cute. Thank you. Thank you for everything, especially the card. I love the card, of course. Um, and all of the little stamps. Oh my gosh. I need to stamp these out so that I, um, you know, can show you guys the image. But I'll do that on a separate video and I'll, I'll stamp this one out too. But this is two little bears in front of a plate, or I'm sorry, a, sheet, a cookie sheet of gingerbread men. So, thank you. What a great surprise. Um, I knew she was sending a card, but I didn't know if she was, what she was sending, you know, she was sending in a package, I should say. Um, thank you for everything, Anna. Um, and I hope you guys are having a good day. And I will talk to you later. I need to go clean up. <laughs> talk to you guys soon. Bye.